Hey folks, it's Open Pagan Church, right here. Welcome back. Yeah, well, you'll notice that um, <clears throat> it would appear I seem to have chosen the wrong color shirt. So some of you might think that I am just the floating head. Because, well, I figured a yellow shirt would do fine with a green screen. Well, guess what? My yellow shirt seems to reflect off of my uh, light box. And um, <laughs> makes my torso a little, um, makes my torso a little um, invisible. Ah, well, onward and upward. As, um, as many of you may know, or not know, because, well, you haven't read the title. Uh, the title today is, oh my God, The Holidays. Oh, people like to get crazy this time of year. People are crazy any time of year, but it really gets crazy this time of year. Yeah. Well, there's a few things I wanted to talk about. Um, one of the first things I wanted to do, though, is a bit of a public announcement. As you'll notice, as you all know, I'm um, I'm in the technical end of my career. I'm into digital forensics. Um, internet network safety, setting up computers and networks, servers and the like. Well, anyway, I've been watching a whole lot of Proposition 3. Proposition 3 in the European Union, for those folks who live over in Europe, which unfortunately encompasses quite a bit of places like um, what um, the UK um, oh hell I'd, I'd have to look it up to see all of the countries that are in the European Union well the European Union decided in all of their happy uh, wisdom to come up with a Proposition 3 and that negates any kind of uh, or it ex accentuates any kind of copyright laws. Well, I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to get into the whole hooey hooey. But what I can tell you is that Proposition 3 has passed. Now, if they don't get the writing of it just right, you may not be able to watch global videos if you live in the European Union because of copyright laws. And it's that serious. Um, for example, Open Pagan Church, uh, Live with the Shaman, may not be able to be watched over in the European Union or over in the European countries because of censoring and copyright laws, as they so blatantly put it. Personally, looking at it, reading it, digging into it, it's a way to give the European Union a way to censor what their people watch. Ooh. Yes, well, enough of the public announcement. Now let's get on with it. Topic, oh my God, the holidays. Well, I chose the little music that I chose in the opening on purpose. The link is in the uh, in the chat. The reason I chose it is it is just borderline uh, Christian Christmas music, right? But if you go to the link, they have a very pagan looking um, forest god for the uh, picture on that holiday music, if you will. And good morning to those of you that are just popping in. 
So what I want to talk about a little bit is this um, crap of uh, being politically correct. People that are afraid to say um, Merry Christmas, Blessed Yule, Happy Hanukkah, all of the other celebrated holidays that start being celebrated between, get this, December 20th and December 31st. Between December 20th and December 31st, there are um, populations of people all over the planet that celebrate different named holidays and Sabbaths and what have you. It would seem to me like societies as of late have gotten so stupid about this not saying Merry Christmas. You may offend someone. A goddess help you if you say Blessed Yule to a thumper. And what I mean by thumper is a Bible thumper. You know, gods help you if you say Blessed Yule. Uh, they'll look at you like, oh. Oh. Well, then there's the uh, the Jewish folk who follow uh, Hanukkah. Um, I used to date a girl way back in the day, whose parents were Jewish. Um, I quite liked them. They were they were nice folk. Her her dad was good people. We sit and talked for hours comparing the different philosophies of the different religions between uh, Jewish, Christian, and pagan faiths. But I think the whole point to the whole thing is the holidays are not about shopping, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, the holidays are not about stomping on each other while you're going out trying to catch those last minute Christmas gifts or those last minute <clears throat> holiday gifts, if you will. The holidays are just a time of year where Mother Earth is taking a bit of a shift December 20th and December 21st, depending on where you're at on the planet, will be the shortest day of the year for you. For us in our hemisphere, the 21st is the shortest day of the year for us. So being pagan, we celebrate that as Yule. The death of winter, if you will. The, hmm, see if this sounds familiar, the birth of the new sun, the rebirth of the sun. Hmm, sound familiar? But you have these people that seem to think that this time of year they need to turn in to something um, for the longest time you know I would I would say you know really nice human beings really nice people would turn into till of the freaking hun you know it's like they have this personality change where everything just goes completely you know batshit crazy in their world and they suddenly have no brains I've seen very intelligent people turn into completely stupid stumps this time of year. And it generally starts right after Thanksgiving. Now America, to my understanding, is the only country that celebrates Thanksgiving. But for some weird reason, I've watched news clippings and videos and what have you of other countries that on or about uh, November 25th, latter part of November, first part of December, um, a switch flips in their brain and it turns off cognitive responsibility. It turns off their ability to make decisions 
within a realm of common sense. Now, I joke all the time there's no cure for stupid. I get it. I do. Stupid people get on my nerves faster than anything. Sorry. I have stuff in my eyeball other than just my eyeball. Well, that was exciting. Not. Right. I do look like the floating head, don't I? Ah, well. Couldn't be bothered to go all the way to the other side of the house and try to find a different color t-shirt. Hell with it. So it really doesn't make any difference what name you follow during the holidays. I think what really makes a difference to the whole thing is remembering to try. I'm using the emphasis try to be a good human being. Now... I could look up all of the names of the different holidays that happen in the month of December because from December 1st to December 31st within that span 1st to the 31st there's a boatload of different holidays and they're celebrated all over the world like I say depending on your geographical location. However, I'm going to have a little fun with this one. You don't see the natives of the rainforest beating each other down to get to the local store to get good deals on Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Hell, they don't even know what Black Friday and Cyber Monday is. And yet, if you study the indigenous people of the rainforest, some of the tribes have, now this is real, some of the tribes have broken into technology. They've started getting into the technical technological aspects of 2018. But you still don't get any reports of them beating each other down at the local grocery store or the local department store, if they have local department stores. I don't even know if they... Well, anyway, I digress. <coughs> <coughs> so, <clears throat> now I'm curious. Now I am curious. I'm going to bring up another tab... Oh, give me that. Really? All right. We're going to bring up another tab. And I'm going to go over and I'm going to search holidays. In December, globally, nine winter holidays around the world. Let's check it out. So this particular site, um, I've used them before for other information. They're pretty, um, they're pretty up to date. This article came out uh, December 4, 2017, so it 
came out last year. Yep, Hanukkah. Um, Three Kings Day. That's interesting. Hmm. Three Kings Day. Winter Solstice. Yep, that's us. December 21st. Saint. How the hell do you pronounce that? Well, anyway. I'm going to copy and paste this link. And put it in the uh, chat area in case others that are watching the pre-recorded broadcast later or those of you watching it now, I can't see who may be watching it in the background, but it shows two live. St. <laughs> Nicholas Day. Celebrated the day of his birth, December 6th. I am told it is pronounced where did it go? Lucia. L-U-C-I-A. Lucia. Anyway. Yeah, I'll take it. So, um, St. Nicholas Day was celebrated um, after December 6, 243 A.D. Holiday honors the man on the anniversary. Hmm. Christmas, of course. Kwanzaa. That was the other one I couldn't remember. African Harvest Festivals. December 26th to January the 1st. Right. Millions of African, let's see, millions of African Americans dress in the, Okay. Kwanzaa. New Year. December 31st. Mardi Gras. Yeah. Well, Mardi Gras, wait. Mardi Gras, so yeah, celebrated February or March. What the hell is it doing in December? Anyway, that's one of the sites. Uh, which one of the other ones? So, I typed in and searched. Um, hey, good morning. For those who are there just joining um, if you want to do a Google search on that, you'll uh, you'll come up with the same uh, link pages I did. Um, but you know, still push come to shove. Pagans do not own December for the holiday for the Sabbath though most all Sabbaths around the planet that fall within Yule if you will uh, December 20th through December 31st are within the month of December depending on where you're at in the geographical location of the globe will depend on what you call your particular holiday. That's the reason I always actually kind of like saying Happy Holidays because there's a there's a boatload of different holidays celebrated through Oh Shut Up. Cindy says your head looks different. I know. It's because I accidentally put on the wrong color t-shirt and could not be bothered to go back and get a different t-shirt. So there. After all, it is 55 foot from my office to my part of the house. I just didn't feel like walking the 110 foot to go back and change a t-shirt. So there. Hmm. Happy holidays to you too. Uh, let's see. Bobby Head. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Alright. Gotta have fun with it, right? Alright. What? 
Not even going to reply to that one. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, right. Love you too. Yeah. What happens to... Now, here's, a, here's an interesting part. There's actually been science done on what happens to people this time of year. And it's already compounded by another event. No. It's already compounded by another event. Right? The things that cause people to go batshit crazy this time of year is already compounded by another event that's already happening in certain areas this time of year. Anybody have a clue what that is? And he says, why is there 12 days of Christmas? I never give it much thought, but we'll Google it here in a minute. And we'll see. Winter blues. Yes, absolutely. This time of year, when the sun starts going down sooner, people find themselves with less daylight less sunshine vitamin provided they tend to already be short tempered right uh, already stressed out anxieties are higher and then we add on to it the stress of the holidays and then we add on to it the depression that goes along with it now for some of you, this next little bit that I'm going to talk about may be a little hard to listen to. So I will give you that straight up. But here we go. The December holiday season tends to bring forward memories of loved ones that are past that aren't there anymore. They tend to bring forward memories of things that we used to have that we don't have anymore. Many people programmed by society seem to forget what they have this time of year and tend to focus on what they don't. Um, I've known friends of mine through the years who had to say goodbye to siblings, parents, friends, spouses, whatever, on or about Christmas Day, on or about New Year's Day, the day before Christmas, the day after Christmas, the week of Christmas, I've heard it all. But, and I get that, so we are already, let's think about this for a second. Human beings are already programmed to be depressed this time of year by society. The sun is going down sooner. We're not getting as much sunshine as we used to. Then you compile that with the socially uh, in the, the social in your face of the Christmas holiday season. Uh, I know that around in the Dallas area, most of the advertisers, are saying holiday shopping get your holiday shopping done now while you can still afford to to hell with what the holiday season is about shopping shopping spend your money and shopping spend more money so typically when you take and you compile the idea that people are already kind of depressed they're already in that seasonal blues they're already in a state of mind where they just seriously really don't want to be jacked with and it comes into um, 
it comes into to the thought where people just don't think outside of their little cubicle, outside of their little thought processes, outside of their little um, comfort zone, if you will. So let's see what's being said. Uh, aha. 12 days of Christmas is the period that in Christian theology marks the span between the birth of Christ and the coming of the Magi. Hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, it makes sense. Begins December 21st, Christmas, and runs through January the 6th. The Epiphany Times, also called Three Kings Day. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Debbie says, that's Hogmanay. Now, if, if some of you don't know how to pronounce that, that may be watching the pre-recorded show and not being able to listen to the pronunciation of some of the words, um, H-O-G-M-A-N-A-Y is actually pronounced Hogmanay. Now, it depends on where you're at in Scotland. I've heard it pronounced in multiple different ways in my travels across Scotland. I've heard it called Hogmanay, Hogmanay. Hog money, hog many, but um, I've heard Debbie call it hog money, hog hog money. My Scottish twang is not quite on. Uh, seasonal affected disorder isn't a society thing; it's the lack of sunlight. Trust me, in Scotland we get less of yes. They do. Um, they get very little sunlight this time of year. I've uh, I spent a lot of time in Scotland at different parts of the year and I've been over there during the winter when um, when the sunshine is like whoop gone. Wait, where'd the sun go? It's boop gone. And the, the, the dark is really long. But even still, case come to point, this time of year, people are affected by um, seasonal uh, seasonal disorder. But, and I have to disagree just a little bit. Seasonal disorder is emphasized and heavily played upon by society. The advertisement money mongers of society know how to manipulate the wording so that they play on these seasonal disorders and they'll, you know the depression of people that are already in place I even heard a advertiser some time ago it wasn't that long ago that used a social pun to um, increase their advertisement and it worked. Um, they talked about how much better it would make you feel. And, you know, we hear people joke about retail therapy. Well, we, uh, some advertisements have gotten a hold of the saying of retail therapy. It does the body good. Um, you know, go out and shop more. Uh, it makes you feel better. Well, actually, it's only a it's only a momentary thing. Um, Dave says, "Never fear, the Dave is here." Hmm. I'll leave that one alone. Morning, Dave. But still, case comes to point when you're talking about the holiday season, people are already pretty heavy in the throes of that seasonal affected disorder. So, you compile onto that things like, right, things like um, separation anxieties, right? Um, empty nest syndrome. Um, what else? 
social social repression right where certain segments of people are socially repressed and denied their ability to be who they are so we compi I mean it's not just yeah I heard somebody say they just need to do away with Christmas shopping they just need to do away with shopping and gift giving this time of year and I told him, I said, that's not the problem. That's not the problem at all. The problem is people's perception of what this time of year is about. The human perception of what is supposed to be done this time of year how people are supposed to feel this time of year I mean I can't tell you how you're supposed to feel but I can tell you that you know this time of year should be more looked at from my opinion my standpoint should be more looked at from the mother's point of view mother earth She's going through a shift. She's going through a change. Even the sun itself, they have proven scientifically that this time of year, the sun does go through a change. Now you think about it, the cosmos is continuously moving. It's evolving, um, turning in on itself. It's expanding. It's contracting, depending on what, science, what scientists you talk to. The Earth is continuously evolving. Her spin, her tilt, her axis changes slightly every year. Um, next year's axis will be just a tiny bit different from this year's axis, which is a tiny bit different from last year's axis. The axis changes just ever so slightly every year. How many O years light? O years night, sorry. The day before New Year's Day or near the day here in Scotland. Yes, Dave makes a good point. He says, I've lived exactly halfway around the world and it feels like it. It feels different than it does here. This time of year makes my autoimmune diseases go crazy. Uh, Michelle, you're, you're actually right. The barometric pressures, the lack of sun, the tilt of the earth, the slight change of the gravity, there is so much that this time of year affects on human beings that most people just don't take the time to stop and think. They don't take the time to stop and think about maybe maybe it's just where we're at right now. I know that um, for me personally, and I'll go ahead and own my own crap, so to speak. This time of year for me, my filter gets less under control. My temper gets a little shorter. My patience with people gets a little shorter. But most especially, my filter gets not quite as under control as it should this time of year. Mine usually starts, though, during or just after Thanksgiving, uh, the latter part of November, for those of you that don't know when Thanksgiving is. Um, the latter part of November, uh, my filter tends to get a little thinner my patience seems to get a little less uh, used to back before I got a grip on it for the most part. My temper used to flick off pretty easy. People like to hibernate per se during the winter. Hide out at home, yes. <laughs> oh boy. Um, like right now, outside for us, there is not a cloud in the sky. It is actually a very beautiful day. 
however it is 45 degrees out there with a north wind to blow a gale nope and it has been raining almost non-stop for the last three months so I couldn't get outside and do anything if I wanted to other than sit on the front porch and freeze my cojones off Michelle says I cry at everything I understand I've got uh, I've got other friends and here's the funny part <laughs> I had one of my shaman students one time ask me is this a shaman thing I'm like wait what it's what a shaman thing well at this time of year I seem to cry at everything I, I get angry I, I cry I go off for no reason I'm like no it's not a shaman thing it's a human thing it affects some more than others and some it has zero effect on at all uh, me I don't cry at the drop of a hat but I will get angry at the twist of a switch uh, twist one of my switches wrong and watch me go off so emotionally uh, psychologically physiologically this time of year plays hell on animals now let me tell you it's not just humans that go through this metamorphosis if you will this change this time of year um, dogs and cats domesticated animals go through it as well um, there have been study that some wild animal species go through a emotional psychological change this time of year depending on of course I say again depending on what geographic location they are on the earth and if we think about something let, let's I mean pagans pagan folk like to look at things from a more physiological uh, maybe scientific idea right most pagans I know do anyway they they want to they want to see what's going on in action right so I want to look something else <clears throat> up here real quick and guess I'm gonna pull up a pull up another page because I want to see something Just be it. Give me just a second. I'm actually looking for something that might kind of help this make sense. Really? Of course, I'm streaming video, so gonna make this pull down a little slow here well that's not showing what I wanted it to show come on well I guess I could flip it over to the screen so that you that's not what I wanted either Give. This um, Giphy.com page here is, is really cool for um, ah oh that's going kind of quick. All right. Well, this will kind of give us the idea that I'm talking about. Holy shit. All right. 
This is better. That other one's spinning just way too quick. Hell, I'm trying to... I'm trying to get a point across. Um, one second is gone now. Yeah, thanks, Dave. Okay, so the point I'm really trying to make is the damn thing will ever work. Really? Alright, anyhow, to hell with it. I was actually... Now it's time to start spinning. Alright, so if you see right here, there's an equator. And equ the equator, they say, kind of splits the Earth in half, right? Well, speaking from what they call North America's standpoint, right here, we are just above the equator. And, you know, then we got, come on, then we got the, got the UK back off over here and other parts of the world that are really on the equator. Now guys, when when the Earth is, is making her shifts and she's tilting and that equator is spinning, the, the line that people live on, there are people that live on the equator and bless their heart, their land in accordance to rotation does this. If you if you look at if you look at the way the Earth tilt axis is on the year, as the tilt is going around, the Earth is spinning. For those of you that don't know, I would I would hope everybody would know this. But if you think about it, the people that live on the equator or real close to the equator, they really actually feel this thing that goes on all year round. You want to talk about? Uh, You want to talk about uh, <laughs> bipolar? Holy shit! <clears throat> so sorry. Excuse me. Pardon me. Ooh. So what can we do? What can we do to make this time of year better for us as humans? Well, I know one of the things that I do. And I don't know if this will help any of you or not. Yes, my aches and pains get a little more this time of year. Granted, I am nowhere near as bad off as some of you with your uh, immune deficiency disorders, fibromyalgia, and other issues. But, let's think about, let's think about this. If we use, once we find ourselves spiraling down into that cesspool of depression, anxieties, anger, negative thought processes, and what have you, if we use our power word, and I have, um, I hesitate to use the term preached, but I have talked about the power word for years. If we use our power word to stop that momentum of us finding ourselves swirling down the commode, as it were, then we, we can actually find ourselves stepping away from what has become society's norm. The holidays, the holidays can be a good thing. They can be a special thing. I realize, uh, those of you that have lost loved ones earlier in the year, it makes it hard. I also realize those that find themselves in lonely situations where there's not a whole lot of family left to celebrate the holidays with. And this is just an idea, okay? Just an idea. What about celebrating the holidays 
for yourself. Be there for yourself. Uh, it's hard. Sounds redundant. Some of you may think it's stupid. Some of you may think, well, I'm not worth celebrating the holidays for myself. Well, yes, you are. The thing you got to look at is this time of year you are physiologically, emotionally, and psychologically affected by something in which you have absolutely no control over. Or do you? When I feel myself slipping, I try to get a hold of it. I try to stop that momentum, regroup, and take a look at what's going on. Take a look at the things I have instead of the things I've not. Take a look at the, at the uh, blessings in my life, if you will. Even though, um, you know, at certain times, at one point in my life, I just, I, I found it really hard seeing what kind of blessings I had. When in all reality, they were all around me. And, you know, it was some years ago, but I went through a rough patch of it. And each of us goes through patches of hard times all throughout it. Our last conversation was the dark time of year, the darkness. Well, the dark time of year does affect our uh, physiological and emotional um, ideas and thought processes of the holidays. Now, understand that you have to decide what you are going to do and how you are going to handle the holidays. I can't tell you how to do that. But if you take a moment, if you take just a moment and you think about where and I'm going to use personal terms for a minute. I try very hard not to use personal terms through conversations on Open Pagan Church. But let's use personal terms. If I look, if I look in a mirror and I say, you're not a bad person. You are worth it. You don't need to let yourself get wrapped up in others chaos the only way you are going to change the way you feel is by changing your thought processes and the way you act and react to society and what's going on around you the oh my god it's the holidays can be converted reverted, turned around to cool. It's the holidays. The meaning of the holidays has to come from you. How they feel to you, how they make you feel, what they mean to you, and what it means to you to be alive this time of year. For me, I am very grateful to be alive very grateful to still be able to get off my butt and move under my own power when many cannot. I'm very grateful to have arms and legs that still work when many do not. If you have problems this time of year, go out and volunteer. If you've got a problem being lonely, get off of your keister as best as you can and go out and volunteer. Don't volunteer for the idea of a pat on the back volunteer just to simply be with other people. If you're lonely, get out and get with other people. Because if you're lonely and you refuse to do anything about it, fact is a fact. So if you change, and here we go again with Don's old saying, if you change the way you react to others' actions, you change your thought processes, and you change you to where you are not so hard on you, maybe things will be a little better. So my thought is not, oh my God, it's the holidays. 
my thought is, hmm, blessed Mother Earth, blessed Yule, for her shortest day is coming, will give way to her awakening. I look forward to the Blessed Mother's awakening. How about you? As always, folks, thank you for watching Open Pagan Church. Uh, we will not be here the weekend of Yule, so we will see you a week from today. I hope you have a very blessed holiday. Happy Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and Blessed Yule.